double episode review this week for Fairy Tale, the past two episodes that just came out. Now, first episode, it had a lot of epicness, a lot of awesome shit going on. I mean, you have Mar Gear, which, to be honest with you, in retrospect and watching these episodes, they make me like him even more as a villain. Like, he honestly just has that suave, I don't give a fuck look, but at the same time, he's badass, everyone fears him, he's owning everyone. Like, Mar Gear, between the shit that happened in the manga and the way they're adapting it into the anime... I'm really fucking with Mar Gear Heavy. Like, dude is a fucking beast. And, I mean, he's going up against the Celestial Spirit King. The big motherfucker. And he's just talking shit to him. I know your weaknesses. You ain't shit. And, like, he's even giving him a run for his money. Granted, I will say the exchange that they had. I wish it would have been a little bit more of a fight. Maybe they could have added an extra piece here or there. A lot of it was them just talking and kind of... Not reminiscing, but just talking about, like, you're still as evil as always, blah, blah, blah. But either way, I don't know, just this episode and the past couple of episodes really made me feel like Mard Gear for the motherfucking win. And it wouldn't be me without yet again giving praise to one of the best moments, probably the best moment for Lucy Hartfilia in the entire series. When she owns the fuck out of Jack with her new Aquarius power, I mean... Right there, that was Lucy's moment. Between the last episode, where she basically had to sacrifice Aquarius to, you know, bring out the Celestial Spirit King. And this episode, obtaining some actual power that she could use on her own, not having to summon anything. Fucking genius. The art, oh, the two episodes right here, the art looked amazing. I don't care what anyone says, the art was just looking absolutely beautiful. Almost on that movie quality. Not the animation, the art. The animation was par for the course with Fairy Tale, but the art was just looking superb. I will say, though, I would have liked a little bit more from the Celestial Spirit King. I mean, he did revive all of Fairy Tale from their petrified states, and he did a temporary petrification, I guess you could say, of Margear. You know, he had Margear petrified there and, you know, stood in a frozen state for a little bit, but that's really all that he did. He came down, he talked about his friend, you know, threw a little blow here or there, got a little fucked up by Margear, and then bounced. I was like, uh, you know, you were cool as shit, and if you had a proper master, you probably would have been able to stop everything there. But Celestial Spirit King, I just wanted, I don't know, I felt a little bit more impact for some reason. And it's not like they changed anything with the anime, but I had a little bit more impact in the manga than I did with the anime. Just because it was like, if you really look at it, he didn't do that much. Especially considering Mark Gear got free from the little bit that he did do. Wendy with her haircut shit, we already know what that's about. You know, the whole gross Japanese people use as far as like, cut your hair that means you've grown a little bit so that was to show the character development in her which she was acting a lot more badass than she's ever been the wendy that we first met would never have done any of this saying you know i'm not gonna be scared no more and going to try and take out the faces and all that shit so character development for wendy nonetheless again not the biggest fan of the new haircut or whatever and at the end of the day she is still a little fucking girl but kudos to the character development and then with the second episode a lot of setups for fairy tale versus the members of tartarus i will say the minerva stuff while it's character development for minerva i think honestly her character was on point prior to these episodes as far as like yeah we know the backstory, we get it in this episode, Giemma was a fucking worthless pile of trash, he's one of the worst fathers of all time in all of anime and manga, I mean, you know, just throwing your daughter in a forest, constantly talking shit to her, letting motherfuckers basically almost try and kill her, Gemma was a piece of shit, Minerva was scarred for that, and that's what made her ultimately the bitch that she was, because Minerva is one of those women that you say, yeah, that's a bitch right there, but I just think that it fit her so well, it was so like, yeah, you hate her, but you love to hate her because she's meant to be hated. So you take that away, and then you have her sniveling at Erza's feet. Just kill me, Erza, please. Like, come on, stop. Like, that's one thing that the content from the manga, regardless of manga or anime, I still don't really care for that particular portion. It's like, Minadwa should have just been a bitch to the end, and that's it. And she kind of had to turn around and like, you know, you're home, your family's waiting for you, and, you know, Sting and Rogue show up to save the day or whatever. Like... Uh, I think we never should have just went out as a cold bitch to the bitter end. I mean, it was one of those people that is like, oh, she's just so fucking evil, but it's cool that she's evil and she, you know, fucking shit up. And it's like, even back in the day when she beat the shit out of Lucy and like I was talking trash, like, fuck me, never. It's good though, because that's her character. And you're stripping her character away. She's just like, that rusty bitch that got fucked up. And with all that being said, honestly, past couple episodes of Fairy Tale, very good stuff. Eight out of tens for each of them, maybe eight and a half, because a lot of character development for Lucy, Wendy. 
character development from Inedra, but honestly, I don't feel as though it was good character development, just because it's taking away her character. She's a bitch. And Margir versus the Celestial Spirit King, I mean, it was pretty cool for what it was, which it was a little bit more than what it ultimately was, but it was still pretty fucking awesome. And I mean, the episode just really made me fuck with Margir heavily. Like right now, even though I know the events of what's gonna happen, ultimately, I'm still like, Marred gear, marred gear. And Fairy Tail's back up, getting ready to fight all the members of Tartarus. So cool stuff there, although, again, there's some stuff that I do know is gonna happen. But let me know what you guys thought of these past couple episodes. What do you think about the character development for these characters? And how did you feel about the art? Again, I could not stop gazing at these episodes at how beautifully they look. Like, they really are putting in the works for the art. Your broad thoughts, but that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that'd be amazing from the world and as always people have an awesome day